Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I'm Lady Legend. Today we're going to be counting down all 11 reserves from worst to best to determine what the best maps are in Call of the Wild. Now this is going to be an opinion-based top 11 countdown. There are 11 maps now that we have Mississippi. Guys, if you do enjoy today's video, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is so amazing for the videos, and I appreciate it so much. So thanks so much for that, guys. And we're going to head right into it. Coming in at number 11 is Hirschfelden. Now, Hirschfelden is one of the original maps, and it is probably the most beautiful map in all of Call of the Wild. Taking place in autumn, it is absolutely visually stunning. Now, the most popular species to hunt probably in Hirschfelden is fallow deer, but now that we have fallow deer in Te Awaroa, it does make Hirschfelden a little less popular. If you are one of these people who does love Hirschfelden, most people who enjoy hunting this map really, really love it. But this map does take a lot of patience. It is very, very thick and hard to see. So it does take a lot more patience. You really have to know where to go to hunt each species and what time to hunt them. This map is amazing for bow hunting, but it is definitely a tougher map. And that is what is putting it at number 11. I don't hunt it that much. I do want to hunt it more and get to know it better. So species that you will find in Hirschfelden include fallow deer, red deer, roe deer, red fox, wild boar. Geese are definitely one of the most popular along with fallow deer and you can't hunt geese on any other map, only here in Hirschfelden. So that is what keeps people coming back to Hirschfelden. But unfortunately, not right now until we do get a fix for that. You'll also find European bison, and we also have European rabbits. They were added later on, about a year ago. So we do have eight species here to hunt in Hirschfelden. Coming in at number 10 on our countdown of best reserves is Parque Fernando. Now, the reason that I do have Parque Fernando at number 10, it is a really fun map to hunt. I have spent many an hour hunting here in Parque Fernando, and I think I may have overhunted it. I don't find it that exciting anymore. Now, part of the reason is because we now have mule deer in Rancho, so it is not the only map to hunt mule deer, and there's a beautiful level four. So species you will find here in Parque Fernando include cinnamon teal, and there are lots of them. We have mule deer, we have black buck, puma, red deer, water buffalo, and axis deer. Now a while ago, the axis deer were broken and pretty much every herd had a diamond in it. So that kind of ruined it a little bit for me. It made axis deer a lot less exciting to hunt, unfortunately. Now I do like the species here, but just not as much as other maps. And I think another reason is because black bucks used to be really, really easy diamonds. They are actually much harder now. And I think that is a great thing that they are more difficult now, but because they were so easy, I have shot a pile of diamond black buck over the past four years, and I'm just not that excited by them anymore. It's probably a great map for new players. There are animals all over the place, but that is why I have Parquet Fernando at number 10. Coming in at number nine on our list of worst to best reserves is Quattro Kalinas. Now, Quattro actually has a lot of species. There are 10 species on this map, red deer being one of the most popular. Now, it is a very popular map for doing the Red Deer Great One grind on, that and New Zealand. The species that you will find here in Quattro include European Hare, Roe Deer, Red Deer, Iberian Mouflon. There are four different Ibex species. We have Basit, Greedos, Ronda, and Southeastern Ibex. Now, I don't find Ibex that exciting to hunt myself. It was fun to go for the Grand Slam the first time, but after that I got bored of them. I find they're very similar to each other and they just don't excite me that much. I do love hunting Iberian wolves. The wolves definitely add a lot to this map without them. It wouldn't be nearly as good a map. It is a fun map to play, just not one of my absolute favorites. Coming in at number eight on our list of best reserves is Te Awaroa. New Zealand here is infamous for its insane population of fallow deer. It is definitely the best map to hunt fallow on. And the red deer hunting here is pretty amazing too. Now the only drawback from hunting red deer here in New Zealand is that they do mainly drink at night. So I am doing my red deer great one grind in the dark, which does get you after a while. But the red deer populations here are pretty amazing. And there's a pretty nice fallow right there. 
Now the species that you will find here in Te Awaroa are European rabbits, Merriam turkey, chamois, feral goats, which troll like crazy. I have shot to date 13 trolls and one diamond, if you can believe that. Feral pigs, which are very cool. Fallow deer, which are amazing. Love the fallow hunting here. And then we have Sika deer and red deer. Now Sika are very cool. They're very unique and you won't find them on any other maps. They are definitely a bonus when you hunt here in New Zealand. So it is a fun map. I do like this map. I just don't like it the very best. Coming in at number seven on our list is Leighton Lakes. Now Leighton is the original map and I would say that it is still the most popular map to hunt whitetail on. Whitetail is probably the most popular species here along with blacktail and moose. But moose you can now hunt on three different maps as well. And black bear, three maps for black bear as well. When new maps come out with the same species, it makes hunting them here a little less important because you can hunt them in other places. I mean, it's always great to have species on different maps. It just makes this map a little less special. And another thing that kind of has annoyed me a little bit about Leighton is when I was a new player, Leighton used to be full of animals and it's a little, well, it's a lot more sparse now. It's one of those maps where you really need to know where your species are and what time to hunt them. So the species that you will find in Leighton Lakes include jackrabbits, mallard ducks, coyotes, black-tailed deer, white-tail, black bear, moose, and Roosevelt elk. And Roosevelt are only found here in Leighton, so that definitely makes them a special species to hunt. I really like hunting Roosevelt elk. We do have Rocky Mountain elk in Silver Ridge Peaks, but they are definitely not the same thing. Now, Leighton is a very popular map to set up your Great One grind for Whitetail on, and I actually am going to be doing a Whitetail grind in Leighton as soon as that Red Deer Great One decides to show up for me. Monster level one, not very big, I'm afraid, and a level two. So Leighton is still an amazing map, still a lot of fun to hunt, just not my absolute favorite. Guys, let me know in the comments how you feel about each reserve, where you would rank it. I would love to know. Coming in at number six on our list of best reserves from worst to best is Rancho Del Arroyo. Now, Rancho came out last summer. It is the first map that has both muleys and whitetail on the same map, which is obviously a very big bonus. We finally have whitetail on a second map. We now have them in Mississippi as well, so we actually now have whitetail on three maps. But Rancho has really cool species such as the Mexican bobcat, but what I really, really love about it is the pheasant hunting. Pheasants introduced a new mechanic where we have to shoot the birds in the air or no score when they're grounded, and that makes them super fun to hunt. I really enjoy them. We now have Bighorn on a second map. They were only on Silver Ridge Peaks, and we now have them here in Rancho Del Arroyo. Now, one of the reasons that I really love this map is this is the map that finally gave me my one and only great one. Only took me 4,576 kills, but he did spawn. Another really cool feature here is that we do have coyotes on a second map, and they are way easier to hunt in their drink zone here in Rancho than they are in Leighton. He dead. The muley hunting here in Rancho is amazing. I love hunting muleys here, and I actually got two diamonds in one afternoon right down in this corner. I got one diamond right here on Y Lake and another one over here at this lake right here. This lake up here is absolutely phenomenal for muleys, and I am still set up for my whitetail great one grind, and this is the magic zone where he spawned. So yeah, I really like Rancho. I think it's a great map. And I really think EW is doing some amazing work. Coming in at number five on our list of best reserves ranked from worst to best is Yukon Valley DLC. Now, Yukon, as you can see, is visually absolutely stunning, especially as the sun rises. Now, we are out on the railroad tracks here. Now, grizzly bears are a lot of fun to hunt and this is an amazing spot for them. Grizzly bears are only found here in Yukon, and I find there is a different feeling hunting here in Yukon. Gray wolves are so much fun to hunt. You hunt them at night in their drink zone, and they are amazing for cash, but one of the coolest species in the game. Caribou are also amazing, very tough diamonds. I absolutely love it when diamonds aren't too easy. 
it makes them special, and caribou are definitely a tough one. Now for ducks, we have harlequins, which are absolutely beautiful. There should be some down here somewhere. And the other species you will find here include red fox, moose, and plains bison. And there are the harlequins. So with seven different species, Yukon is that northern field map, and that is why I have it at my number five. I really do love hunting here. Let's take a caribou. The other really cool thing about Yukon Valley is it does come with the 300 Magnum, which is absolutely my favorite rifle in the game. Although it did rob me of a Diamond Brown Cape Buffalo two days ago, I still do love the 300. Coming in at number four on our list of best reserves ranked from worst to best is Savannah Verhonga. Now Savannah has all kinds of species and they're all a lot of fun to hunt. It is not hard to find animals here. So there are actually nine species here in Savannah, including Cape Buffalo, Scrub Hare, Side Stripe Jackal, Springbok, Warthog, Lesser Kudu, which just got true racks, Blue Wildebeest, Gemsbok, Lions, and Cape Buffalo. So nine very cool species, every single one you can only find here in Savannah. So that makes it a very cool map, and having so many species is also very fun. It is a great map for new players because it is really easy to find animals and to make a lot of cash. And there's a pretty nice kudu. He dead. Not a lot of maps have more than one class 9 species, but Savannah has lions and Cape Buffalo. I personally would love to see a second Africa, an Africa 2.0 map in the future. There are still lots of amazing species that I would love to hunt on a separate Africa map. Things like Greater Kudu, and I would also one day love to hunt hyenas. Wouldn't it be cool to have hyenas and lions on the same map? Two predators? That would be so great. And that is a beautiful true rack lesser kudu. There are always a lot of servers open for Savannah. That is a great way to gauge how popular a map is with the public. Coming in at number three on our list of top maps ranked from worst to best is Medved Taiga. Now I do understand that this map is not a super popular map with the community, but I absolutely love this map. And I really feel sad that it does get a bum rap. There are only six species to hunt here, which is not a lot. I will agree that Medved could definitely use another species or two, but the six species that are here are super cool. I love hunting reindeer. They do troll a whole lot, but they are a lot of fun to hunt. Brown bear drink at the same time as reindeer and musk deer early in the morning. There is an overlap, so the hunting is great, and this lake here is amazing for cash. If you hunt here between 5.30 and 7 a.m., you will find reindeer, brown bears, and musk deer all around this lake. And I have shot many diamonds off this lake in the past four years. This map is my absolute favorite for hunting moose out of all three maps. When moose drink, you will find moose out on the ice all the way down here all the way up to the top here. You will find them at these little lakes and the hunting for moose is absolutely insane. Other species you will find here in Medved include Eurasian lynx, which are another really cool species. Love hunting lynx. Very, very challenging. Not easy to find a diamond. They are definitely tough diamonds, but that makes them super fun. We also have wild boar and the hunting for boar is also crazy. Guys, I do have a Medved super guide. I do highly recommend that if you don't really like this map, please have a look at the Medved super guide. It will really help you with where to hunt and what time so that you will find all kinds of species. If you actually change the time to after 2300 and you hunt the ice here, you will find pack after pack of wild boar. The first time I came out here, I found a diamond right out on the ice. So even though this is not a popular map, I absolutely love it, and I am going to encourage you guys to really give Medved a try. I just love to see you guys have as much fun here as I do. Coming in at number two on our list of best reserves ranked from worst to best is Mississippi Acres Preserve. Now, I absolutely love this map. It is a very challenging map. It is not easy. Everything seems to be hidden on it. And alligators are not an easy species to hunt. They are probably the most challenging species in the game. But that's what makes them so much fun. And there goes one right there. I missed them. Too busy flapping my trap. 
With alligators, the objective is to either hit them with a brain shot or a neck shot. Now, if you do that, they will drop, but if you don't, they will go swimming. You do want to get them with a vital shot, and even if they swim, you may get your trophy, but you may not. If they get too deep when they die, they are gone. So, the best thing to do is drop them if you can. Here, we're gonna try right here. Now, I'm using the 303. I did not do it. Did I get a vital? It does take quite a while for them to drop in health. I don't think I did. Put another shot into him and see what happens. Okay, he's down to 50. He's probably wearing too many bullets at this point, but he is going to die. The question is, will he float to us? As you can see, they take a long time to die. And there's a mythical. And he is gone. So we'll wait a second here and see what happens. But Mississippi actually has nine species. The other species include common raccoon, which are so cool, so much fun to hunt. He's still not dead. We also have Eastern Cottontail Rabbit, Bob White Quail with the same mechanic as Pheasant, so you do have to hit them in the air or no score. And they are also extremely challenging to hunt, but super fun. So he is dead now. I don't think he's gonna float to us, but we'll wait for a second. You will also find Eastern Wild Turkey, Gray Fox, which are absolutely stunning. One of my very favorite species in the game. And they also come with four different rare variations. We also have Wild Hog, which are a redo of Feral Pigs, but they're bigger and they gave them a new name, which was really cool. There's a seven coming in. And we do have another map for Whitetail, so you can grind for the Great One Whitetail here in Mississippi. And then of course we have alligators that we're hunting right here and black bears. And black bears have had a facelift. They look amazing since the last update. Did you know that there are over 95 drink zones for Gray Fox on this map. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, I definitely... Oh, look at that! We're getting our gator. You just have to be patient. He's floating in. It might be a favorite for the more advanced players who want something more challenging. But I absolutely love the challenge of Mississippi. I think it makes it so much fun. Now, the one drawback to this map is that it is almost always raining here. It's a miracle that it's not right now. It is very foggy and very wet. I mean, it is a swamp map. And we did put too many shots and unfortunately, my second shot was good, so I didn't need to put a third one in, which didn't even end up being good anyway. So at least we got to claim them, but I did mess up this alligator. Coming in at number one on our list of best reserves ranked from worst to best is Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, I do think Silver Ridge Peaks is probably the most popular map out there. There are always the most servers open for Silver Ridge Peaks in multiplayer than any other map. Now, I just literally left the outpost. That's how far I am from the outpost, and there are always animals everywhere. And because of that, it makes leveling up as a new player just so very easy. Now, Silver Ridge Peaks does have nine different species. Silver Ridge Peaks did release the very first turkey. There are also bighorn sheep, mountain goats, pronghorn and lots of them and grab an air rifle and come to Silver Ridge Peaks you will make a pile of money taking out herds of pronghorn. There are also mountain lions which are very easy diamonds. I would say that mountain lions are probably the easiest diamond in the game. We are always spooking animals because they are everywhere. Rocky Mountain Elk. That's another species that are one of my favorites. I love hunting Rocky Mountain Elk. And there we have Plains Bison. That is the only class 9 species here in Silver Ridge Peaks. We also have mule deer. I love hunting muleys here in Silver Ridge Peaks. The only drawback to this map is the very insanely short drink times, which makes hunting feed zones a really good plan when you're hunting in SRP. Now, Silver Ridge Peaks is definitely one of the easiest maps to find diamonds on, probably because there are animals everywhere. So mountain lions are one of the very best things to hunt for cash. You can make a pile of cash hunting mountain lions because they just don't spook. So usually you can take a whole bunch out and they pay amazingly well. What is your most desired Great One species? What would you like to see next for the Great One? I would like to see a moose and a Rocky Mountain Elk. Both of those would be insanely awesome and so much fun. So there you have it guys, all 11 reserves ranked from worst to best. I don't really like those words. I don't think any of the maps are bad. We're just putting them in order of favorite to least favorite really. 
but they all have amazing attributes. They are all beautiful in their own way, and they're all a lot of fun to hunt. And that is a beautiful muley, holy. Guys, if you did enjoy the video or learn anything at all, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, smash that like button. It is so amazing for the videos and I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for that. And if you are new to the channel, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your favorite reserve is and why. And that will wrap it up for this one, guys. We will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.